Hello everyone, welcome to the 13th episode of J Main Revision Series. So uh, in this video I have picked up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 questions of J Main 2013 physics paper and uh, this will be a really good video so I request you to watch it from beginning to the last so that uh, you have learned from the you have learned uh, maximum from this video. Let's begin with this one which says the magnetic field in a traveling electromagnetic wave has a peak value of 20 uh, nano tesla. What is the peak value of electric field strength? They have only given the value of B that is to be 20 into 10 power minus 9 tesla. You have to find out E. Now, uh, how will you do this? Well, you know that from the velocity selector equation, V is equal to E by B. You know that clearly, right? So, in this case, uh, E is equal to V into B. But you don't know velocity. How do you find out the velocity? Well, no need to find out because they are saying it is electromagnetic wave. All electromagnetic waves travel with the speed of light. So, V can be replaced as C. So, E is equal to C into B. C is nothing but 3 into 10 power 8 into B is uh, 20 into 10 power minus 9. So, this cancels out to be 10 power minus 1. And uh, 20 times uh, 3 is 60. So, 60 into 10 power minus 1 which is nothing but 6. So, 6 volts per meter. Uh, volt per meter is the units of uh, electric field. So, finally we have 6 volts per meter to be the value of electric field. Hope you understood what we did. I just uh, use the velocity selector equation to find out the value of E. Let's see the next question. It says, a beam of unpolarized light of intensity I0 is passed through a polaroid, polaroid A and then through another polaroid uh, B which is uh, oriented so that uh, its principal axis a plane makes an angle of 45 degree relative to that of A. Now the intensity of the emergent light is. Now let me uh, draw the situation for you, how it is happening. First, uh, let's say this is the axis and uh, a polaroid and this is A, let me call it A. And there is another one, B. Its axis is uh, 45 degree to that of A. If A is perpendicular, B is 45 degree to that. Well, it is same as saying 45 degree with the horizontal also because 45 plus 45 is always 90. Now, a light ray is coming, I mean, uh, with intensity I0. Always remember that when it passes through the first polaroid, it will always uh, become half of its original value. So, I0 by 2 will be the intensity of the radiation which will be incident on this one. And uh, the formula which we have to use at this case will be I, I dash is equal to I0 by 2 because this is what is coming into cos square phi. Cos square phi is 45 degree. That is phi actually in this phi. So, this is a cos square 45, this becomes 1 by 2 because 1 by root 2 is cos 45. So, square will be 1 by 2. So, I0 by 2 into 2, it is I0 by 4. Option C will be the correct answer. That was as simple, right? Very simple, I'm sorry. The third question says, a sonometer wire of length 1.5 meter. I remember this is a really good question. You need to pay attention in, uh, to this question when I'm uh, telling it because uh, a lot of substitutions and uh, playing with the values is there so you need to listen uh, very carefully let's read the question properly a sonometer wire of length 1.5 meter is made of steel right a sonometer wire is there of length 1.5 meter the tension in it produces you are fixing it at two points so there is a tension uh, in the wire which produces elastic strain of one percent elastic strain is nothing but uh, change in length divided by original length delta l by l is nothing but one percent one percent can be written as 0 0.01 please remember this Elastic strain is given by change in length divided by to, uh, original length. What is the fundamental frequency of the steel if its uh, density and elasticity are given? Density is nothing but rho is given for us and uh, elasticity is nothing but Young's modulus which is given to us. That is 2.2 into 10 power 11 and density is 7.7 into 10 power 3 kg per meter cube. Right? Oops, I'm sorry. Yeah. So now how do we start? So first, uh, we know that fundamental frequency it is given by, I need all the space, so I will uh, write some of it here. Fundamental frequency is given by F is equal to V by 2L, where V is the velocity of the sound in the wire, right? So F is equal to, V can be written as 1 by 2L times square root of T by mu, right? T is the tension and mu is the mass per uh, unit length uh, value. Now look how I manipulate things here. See, mu is nothing but mass per unit length, that is M by L, right? You know this. Now what do we do? 
let me find out let me see uh, what i can play with uh, density over here density is nothing but mass by volume right volume uh, we uh, we consider always the wire to be a cylinder right cylinder's volume is pi r square h in this case h is nothing but l because length is the l is the length of the wire so m by pi r square l now if i multiply area of the cross section into density i get a into rho is equal to m by pi r square l times pi r square because pi r square is the uh, area of the cross section of the wire so it is again m by l which is equal to mu so clearly we got that a into rho is equal to mu which will be which we now will be substituting at this point so f is equal to 1 by 2l times t by a into rho let's keep this aside now now what we do is uh, we'll take the expression for young's modulus that is y is equal to fl by a delta l you all always you know this right this is the basic formula for young's modulus now what what we'll do with this is instead of f we can write it as t because the force in the uh, wire presently is the tension force so i can replace f as f to be t now I, i'll substitute for t by a which is nothing but t by a is equal to y delta l divided by l don't you see we have t by a here so i can write it as f is equal to 1 by 2l times square root of t by a is y delta l by uh, l into rho this is what we got now uh, uh, i think uh, that's it we can find out the uh, value now f is equal to 1 by 2 into 1.5 length is 1.5 into square root of y y is uh, young's modulus 2.2 into 10 power 11 uh times delta l by l i already told you delta l by l is uh, 0.01 uh, which we already found out so it is 0.01 divided by rho rho is given uh, rho is nothing but density which is given uh, uh, this value is given 7.7 into 10 power 3 please find out this value and tell me that you got uh, 178.2 hertz which you should obviously get after you uh, finish uh, calculating this so I hope you got uh, what we did uh, initially. Let me just uh, brief through it again. First, we started with uh, f is equal to v by 12. Substitute for uh, substituted for v as uh, square root of t by mu, and then uh, tension can be uh, this mu is written as a into rho that we proved in this part. A into rho is area into uh, density, and uh, t by a we again substituted from uh, this y is equal to uh, t l by a delta l from that t by a we substituted y y into delta l by l delta l by l all the values we know now rho y and uh, l and uh, delta l by l so we just substituted and finally found out the value of the frequency fundamental frequency which is the uh, for which the answer is 178.2 178.2 hertz so uh, let's see the next question now which says uh, the amplitude of the damped oscillator Uh, decreases to 0.9 times its original magnitude in 5 seconds in another 10 seconds it will decrease to alpha times the original uh, magnitude where alpha equals there is a damped oscillator you know what is damped oscillator like it uh, it's it is uh, oscillating at a uh, at some magnitude that is let's say some amplitude a and uh, it continuously decreases after some time due to the air drag or some other whatever medium it is kept in uh, due to the resistive forces because of that uh it its value decreases and finally it stops so for the the equation has been found out that is amplitude a is equal to a not into e power minus bt by 2m this is the formula which we have to use uh, right so what we do is uh, first uh, we'll find out a in the first case we know that uh, it decreases to 0.9 times the original magnitude so a will be equal to 0.9 a not 0.9 a not is equal to a not into e power minus b into 5 t is 5 seconds in the first case 5 b by 2 m so a not and a not get cancelled and i have 0.9 is equal to e power minus 5 b by 2 m i won't go into definition of all of them uh, just remember that b is called as the damping constant t is the time m is the mass of the uh, whatever is used uh, the bob and uh, a is the amplitude a not is the original maximum amplitude a is the amplitude at some time t so uh, let me uh, keep this value aside because i need this and in the second case they say that in another 10 seconds so totally 15 seconds have passed now uh, and it decreases to alpha time so alpha a not is equal to 
a naught times e power minus uh, 15 b 15 by 15 b by 2 m so a naught a naught get cancelled alpha is equal to e power minus 15 b by 2 m can be written as 5 b by 2 m into 3 5 into 3 is 15 right so alpha is equal to e power minus 5 b by 2 m whole cube right so whole uh, if i do this this can be substituted as a 0.9 because uh, from this we have e power minus uh, 5b by 2m to be 0.9 and we are all we have to find out is 0.9 cube 9 cube you know that it is uh, 729 times 10 power minus 3 so it is 0.729 so option c is the correct answer now let's see the last question this is a very important question also uh, uh, two short uh, <coughs> bar magnets of length 1 cm each have magnetic uh, moments 1.2 ampere meter square and 1 ampere meter square respectively they are placed on a horizontal table parallel to each other with their north poles facing towards the south they have a common mag uh, magnetic equator and are separated by a distance of 20 centimeter the value of the resultant uh, horizontal magnetic induction at the midpoint O of the line joining the centers is close to now let me uh, very big question let me uh, visualize it for you there are two uh, bar magnets which are kept parallel to each other uh, on a table and uh, let me call this is the original direction like north south of earth and uh, they say that uh, north poles is uh, the bar magnets north pole is pointing towards south so if this is south the uh, this should be north this is also north this is south and this is south so this is how the magnets are bar magnets are kept and they are telling uh, horizontal component of earth's magnetic field that is bh is equal to this value is given now you know that uh, always magnetic lines pass through uh, i mean uh, go in a direction uh, north to south outside the magnet and south to north inside the magnet so in this case uh, magnetic lines are going from north to south though so uh, the direction will be upwards right it is going like this same will be the case with uh, this power magnet so this is also uh, upwards and uh, we have from south to north the original that is bh this is b1 and b2 so we have net we are supposed to find net uh, magnetic field the value of resultant horizontal magnetic induction that is b net is equal to b1 plus b2 plus bh for the resultant of these two bar magnets we have a formula that is uh, mu naught by 4 pi times m1 plus m2 divided by r cube this is the resultant of these two plus bh we are supposed to add this is the b net so mu naught by 4 pi is nothing but 10 power minus 7 because mu naught is a uh, mu naught value is 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 so 10 power minus 7 into m1 plus m2 m1 plus m2 we have uh, values as 1.2 and uh, 1 so that 1.2 plus 1 is 2.2 divided by r cube r cube is the distance from the magnet to the point this point at this point we are supposed to find out so this distance total distance is 20 centimeter so this distance will be uh, 10 centimeter that is nothing but 0.1 meter so 0.1 q plus uh, bh bh is nothing but 3.6 into 10 power minus 5 so let me find out this value 2.2 into 10 power this will be point, uh, 10 power minus 3 10 power minus 7 plus 10 power 3 is 10 power minus 4 plus uh, we have uh, 3.6 into 10 power minus 1 which, can, which I can write it as 0 0.36 into 10 power minus 4 now I just need to add these two 2.2 plus 3, uh, 0.36 that is nothing but 2.2 2 plus 3 is 5 6 into 10 power minus 4 so 2.56 into 10 power minus 4 that is option B will be the correct answer I uh, hope you understood this all we did was uh, the resultant of these two we used it as uh, mu naught by 4.2 m1 plus m2 by r cube and finally added this also along with this substituting all the values and getting the answer as option b 2.56 into 10 power minus 4 weber per meter squared so that's all for this video and don't forget to subscribe if you have just stumbled upon this video and give a like to this video also if you have learned something something from it and uh, share this video for, with your friends also so that even they don't miss out from this beautiful series going on and uh, i'll be uploading many more such videos uh, which will be surely helpful for all of you and finally thanks a lot for watching this video thank you